On my last video lesson, we created a list of objects and populate it to the list view element. Now, what if we want to add buttons to our list like this? A text cell or image cell will not be enough. In this case, we need to create a custom template. Good day everyone. I'm Michael, and I'm using a text-to-speech program to have a more clear speech and audio. In this video lesson, you will learn the following. 1. Create a Xamarin Forms custom cell. 2. Manipulate the appearance of a cell. 3. Add image button. Now let's open the Visual Studio and do some coding. To create a custom cell, we need to use view cell instead of text or image cell. View cell is a cell that can be added to a list view or table view, which contains a developer defined view. So let's remove this. Inside view cell, we can put any elements. Our objective for this lesson is to make the items look like this. Here we need to input an image. Then two labels that is arranged vertically, and two image buttons. The image button displays an image and responds to a tap or click that directs an application to carry out a particular task. Unlike the button, the image button has no concept of text and text appearance. Since we are going to put multiple elements, we can use any of the layout we want. It could be grid, absolute layout, stack layout, or relative layout. But for this lesson, I will be using a stack layout. So inside the view cell element, I added one stack layout with three elements. And these are images and two stack layout. We bind the image source to the image URL property of the student info class. While in the first stack layout, I added labels to display the name and the status of the student. And for the second stack layout, I added two image buttons. The images are used in this project are saved to the drawable folder under resources. So let's run the app. This is what we get. It looks pretty messy. This is because the item inside the stack layout consume only the space they needed. That's why there is unused space on each item. To correct this, we need to allocate the unused. If we want to position this image button to the right, this inner stack layout must occupy the remaining space of the outer stack layout. To do that, we simply set its horizontal options to start and expand. Another thing we need to improve is the spacing between these two label. We can set its space to zero. One last thing that we need to do, is to make the image circle. I have already installed the plugins we need. For more details, you can check video number 24 on how to create a circle image. Now let's include the namespace for our image circle plugins. Then change the image element to There you have it. That's how we customize a cell. That's all for this video lesson.
If you have questions, suggestions, something to add, or you think something is missing or incorrect to the lesson, please let me know. Again, this is Michael, thank you and see you at my next video lesson. Keep safe everyone!